Here are the top things to do in Darwin. Be sure to watch until the end to discover the breathtaking activity at number one. Number 11, get up close with the Crocs. If you have heard anything about the Northern Territory, you already know how popular crocodiles are. These giant reptiles are quite many here, and some beaches have been declared unsafe for swimming due to their presence. But then, as dangerous as they may be, they are fun to watch sometimes. Plus, thanks to various croc watching programs, it is now possible to get close to these reptiles without getting your limbs torn apart. The most popular croc watching program here is the fearsome Cage of Death experience at Crocosaurus. Here, you'll be lowered into a crocodile filled lake in a cage that protects you from the predators. It feels like swimming with crocodiles, and this nerve wracking experience promises so much fun. But then, if you would prefer a less terrifying croc watching program, then you should head to the family friendly Crocodilus Park. Here, you still get to watch the crocodiles, but from a safe distance. Number 10. Check out the museum and art gallery. While Australia is known for its natural attractions, it also features some mind-blowing artificial wonders. One such attraction in the Northern Territory is the cool NT Museum and Art Gallery. If you are a history buff or enjoy viewing brilliant artwork, this is the place to visit. Located in the inner Darwin suburb of Fanny Bay, the Magnet is not only the main museum in the territory, but also a top attraction for tourists. This museum is home to several cultural and scientific collections, and it also houses an art gallery where top-class artworks are exhibited. Here, you'll find excellent art pieces from local and international artists as you explore different museum sections. Number 9. Visit the Famous Mindil Markets One of the most famous landmarks in Darwin is its Mindil Beach Markets. If you are in the city for events and functions, this sunset market is the place to be. The market also makes for an impressive nightlife, as it is often most active between 4 and 9 p.m. Also, while you'll find many people buying and selling local goods here, the market is most famous for its food stalls. As a result, most tourists come here to have dinner and watch the local events being hosted on the beach. The market thrives in the dry months of May through to October, and the main market nights are Thursdays and Sundays. You will do well to head down to the market one of these nights to grab a tasty bite and enjoy the event's electric performance. Number 8. Swim the Wave Pool Darwin boasts many exciting water bodies, so you already know you'll be swimming whenever you visit. With that in mind, you may want to make the wave pool one of your priority destinations. Indeed, this city can sometimes get very hot, and the pool is your best cooling spot because, unlike ocean water, this pool's temperature is lower than the outside air. The wave pool also features grass around its surroundings, with adequate shades that make it an ideal picnic location. As a result, the pool often records high numbers of visitors, especially over the weekends. But that notwithstanding, this pool should be a top destination on your bucket list of places to visit in Darwin. Number 7. Sea Wildlife at Territory Wildlife Park While crocodiles may be the dominant predators in the Northern Territory, they are not the only wildlife in these parts. In fact, this region accounts for a significant part of Australia's vast wildlife. If you want to see a collection of this wildlife in Darwin, then your destination should be none other than the Territory Wildlife Park. This park is actually located at Berry Springs, which is only a 45 minutes drive from Darwin. Territory Wildlife Park has a zoo setting and a bush that gives animals a natural habitat feeling. The park is spread over a 400 hectare land area with a bus shuttle available to take tourists through the various sections. Here, you'll find various animals like the long-necked turtle, carpet python, kookaburra, and crocodiles, among others. Number 6. Explore the Tiwi Islands and experience Aboriginal culture The Tiwi Islands is a chain of nine islands north of Darwin. Located about 50 miles from the territory capital, this archipelago is one of the top day trips from Darwin, and it is one you should take. Not only is it exciting, but it's also educational. 
and you'll come back more knowledgeable than you left. Of the nine Tiwi Islands, only two are inhabited, while the other seven remain pretty much untapped. The islands are home to the indigenous Tiwi people, who are believed to have lived here for over 7,000 years. Luckily, they are friendly and open to receiving tourists, so you don't have much to worry about. Also, the islanders boast an impressive heritage that tallies with their rich history. Therefore, you can expect to enjoy an aboriginal culture that will make you feel like a local once you get here. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide teaches you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 5. Explore Darwin's Botanic Gardens Darwin is a nature-loving city known for its variety of wildlife, but what you may not know is that the natural wonders of this city extend beyond its fauna and creates a pretty unique flora. Do you want to see the best of this local flora? Then you should head down to Darwin Botanic Gardens, where you'll be mesmerized by nature's beauty and elegance. This lush tropical paradise is located close to the city center and is a must-see for tourists in Darwin. The garden is one of the city's points of pride, and it covers a 40-hectare land area consisting of North Australian monsoon flora. Of course, Darwin Botanic Gardens are known for their beauty and exceptional grooming, but they also help educate people about Australia's most popular plants. The garden features many rare and popular plant collections, including native and tropical plants. Rest assured that all of them will fascinate you. Number 4. Go Fishing and Bird Watching at Mary River National Park Fishing is a popular activity among the locals here in Darwin and tourists who fancy their chances with a fish hook. Although this city features more than a few fishing locations, the Mary River National Park is the best place for tourists to enjoy a fun fish catching experience. If you want to try your luck here, you can rent fishing gear in the park and head out to the water to see how many fishes you can catch. Although the Mary River National Park is most known for its fishing adventures, it also allows for other activities like bird watching. In fact, the park is one of the best venues for bird watching in the Northern Territory, with about 250 bird species flocking here. Be sure to bring your binoculars and spend a fun afternoon watching these colorful creatures. Number 3. Relax at Darwin's Waterfront Precinct Of course, with numerous attractions to explore here in Darwin, it is only natural to get exhausted after a good spell on the road. But luckily for tourists, the city also has more than a few relaxation spots where you can chill out and re-energize. The most popular of such spots is the Waterfront Precinct, which is about a five-minute walk from the Central Business District. This tourist area features restaurants, pools, and an artificial beach, all available for locals and tourists to relax and unwind. So, you should seize the opportunity to come relax here too. Number 2. Go Skydiving Of all the tourist activities and things to do in Darwin, none is as extreme as skydiving. This activity will get your adrenaline rushing, and it goes without saying, that it is only ideal for the strong-hearted. If you are up for the task, you can join other adrenaline junkies to jump over the beach in Night Cliff. But then if you are not cut out for this kind of adventure, you can stay on the ground and watch the experts do their thing. The best destination to watch skydivers, however, will be the Darwin Parachute Club, where you can have a fun night relating with other tourists as well. Number 1. Go on a World War II History Tour if you are a fan of war history, it will interest you to know that Darwin was one of the few places on Australia's mainland to be heavily involved in World War II. Sadly, it was on the receiving end of waves of Japanese attacks, but all of this also contributed to the city's rich history. Well, if you are interested, you can join a guided tour on a trip down memory lane as you explore the various sites bombed during the war. This tour will also show you the facilities used to defend the city, including the Military Museum and Aviation Heritage Center. You'll also be taken through the various tunnels where barrels of oil that were used to defend the city were stored. No doubt it will be an insightful trip for you. Click here for more things to do in Australia.